What is going on guys? My name is Halvi and today I am bringing you a gameplay commentary of sorts. I haven't just sat back and like talked to you guys in, in a long time. Uh, it's been a lot more like CS funnies. Um, the last video that I did, which was like actually a month ago, that was actually just me talking to you in the video format was, uh, was a deep chat video or a chill chat, I'm not sure which one, but uh, I haven't really just sat down and updated you guys on anything or let you know what's going on and stuff. And uh, so I wanted to just sit down and do that over this kind of pretty cool gameplay that I just got on CS. I hopped on, played like one or two games. I haven't played CS in literally, I think before this, about a month. And then before that, probably like another half a month or so. So it's been a long time, but I actually picked it up back up again pretty well. I guess that is just like riding a bicycle. And... Uh, it was a pretty good gameplay. I did. I think I was the top. I'm not sure, um, but I got a really nice quad feed like bison in there, and I think I got a collat at some point too. So just random, random stuff. But um, so that's just kind of going to be going on in the background, and I figured I'd just talk to you guys, fill you in on what's been going on and, and everything. So I apologize for the kind of lack of uploads recently. It's been I've been getting out like one a week for the past like month. And, and, you know, that's a lot different for me when I was posting like three a week. But um, I've just been crazy busy, as I always say I am and stuff. But I actually, just recently, I'm starting this summer, I got an internship. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm like professionally a graphic designer. And so I got an internship at a design firm um, out near where my mother lives and uh, in Sonoma area, which is like big on the wine and everything. Because for those of you that don't know or haven't heard of the Napa Valley, it's like huge wine area and same with Sonoma County and so there's a lot of like wine label stuff over there but what was cool is that you know they're all very packaging oriented package design and stuff so like wine labels and, and food product packaging and, and everything like that um, but I and that's not my big forte I'm, I'm very media oriented obviously with YouTube and web stuff and all that so it was really neat because I've actually been able to pick up some awesome projects over there that they never like normally do because I do motion graphics and web design and they don't have anybody who does that so I actually just recently um, I'm right now I think on Monday I'll be wrapping up a, a project that I was actually doing for LinkedIn um, doing some motion graphic projects and that was awesome because we wouldn't have even gotten that that job if it wasn't for the fact that I do motion graphics so I thought that was awesome um, and I can't really say too much about it because I think it's like not something that hasn't been released yet or well it's obviously hasn't been released yet but it's something that's like I don't know on the DL right now so but it's really exciting uh, being able to work with such a obviously well-known uh, company and everything like that and then um, they're actually for a kind of uh, as far as internships go a lot of times you'll have like a main intern project kind of like a thesis project for your the duration of your internship which in this case um, mine's just lasting the summer and uh, I'm like completely redesigning um, their their own whole website uh, so that's been really cool and I've been learning a lot more about web development and everything like that so just fun stuff but it's been keeping me really busy and not to mention um, where I'm at my dorm uh, I've been staying at the dorm this summer and I'm like one of two people it's only me and then one other guy who's in the dorm this whole summer uh, so it's pretty lonely but we, uh, I have to go back and forth it's like an hour over there and then I have to uh, I stay there for like half the week and then I'm back here um, and so like my weeks are like cut in half now that I have to be able to, to work on YouTube and whatnot and I've also been obviously um, for those of you for those of you that don't know I do Jehovah's um, videos as well edit all of his videos and so when I'm spending like a ton of time you know several hours a day working on his videos it's really hard to to you know get kind of burnt out on those so it's, it's hard to focus on my own videos and and that's you know that sucks for me too because it's like I want to be able to put all my own content so I'm definitely trying to trying to get back into the hang of that too now that things with the internship has been starting to settle down and halfway through the summer and whatnot but um, yeah so for those of you still watching, obviously, hopefully most of you are, I want to ask you a question. How's your summers going? Um, mine's been, like I said, with this internship, it's been going really well. Um, it's been uh, busy with, with, with lots of different projects and everything like that, but it's been fun. I'm actually going to be going on a trip here in like a few weeks with my girlfriend. We're actually going up north to Idaho uh, doing a road trip. going to be up there for for about 10 days or so. So I'm really looking forward to doing that, just kind of having some time to chill and, and hang out. Because to me, Idaho is like, I don't know. I've been to Hawaii, and, and it, in my opinion, it's not all that. Like, it's not, you know, the tropical paradise. Like, it's great, but 
it's just I, I don't know my paradise is is going up to Idaho um, Coeur d'Alene Idaho where it's you know lots of forest area and the lakes and, and golf and everything and I know a lot of you think golf is boring honestly I used to think it was super boring but it's not once you start playing it I love it so um, yeah my, my real summer is gonna start my vacation summer is gonna start more in like three weeks um, but yeah just been having fun with that um, so yeah, that's kind of what's been going on. Nothing really like ex super duper exciting or anything like that. Um, I want to try to get my my uh, be able to stream a little bit more, but because of the inconsistent schedule, it's been a little bit more rough. But yeah, so like I mentioned, I, I'm you know in this dorm by myself uh, for the summer, and it turns out once a summer, uh, once a year, essentially, we have this thing on campus called Korean Camp Meeting. And that is essentially where I, I don't actually have any idea what it is. All I know is there's a bunch of Koreans that come and meet up and, I don't know, do their Korean things. and uh, But they populate the dorm that I'm in. And so I, I didn't really know that this was what it was. Um, so I just started seeing Koreans kind of around. I was like, okay, that's interesting. And so I went to go, like, take a shower. And I saw this sign on it, and it was in Korean. I couldn't read anything. I was like, okay, well, I'm just still going to go here because that's where I always go. So I did, and then I'm turning off, you know, finishing my shower, and I, like, hear the door open, and I'm like, oh, crap, what if that sign says women's bathroom? And it turns out it apparently did. And so, like, I'm just putting on my towel, and this, like, old lady, Korean, comes in. She's like, oh, sorry, 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 and so, you know, saying a mixture of Korean and English words. I don't really know what happened, but I was just like, oh, uh, I can't read Korean, so I'm sorry. I just live here. I'm used to going and showering in this place. So it was kind of a little bit of an awkward situation, I think, for her. I just thought it was funny. Um, but then I go back the next day, and then it says Korean symbols with the big sign that says men next to it in English. And I'm like, oh, goodness, I hope that this is actually the men's and not just some, like, you know, I'm not going to have more old lady Koreans walking in on me. But so far, I haven't had that happen, which is nice. But... Yeah, so that's been uh, that, that's been something. I think they're going to be leaving here this week, so I'll be able to have the dorm all back to myself. So that's been great and fun and just a little tidbit of, of info for you guys there. But uh, I've been really hoping to, um, I, a while back, me and Hova were talking about um, doing a comtage, a community montage, and I started working on that and everything and got some, some pretty decent submissions. And then he ended up kind of canceling it, and so uh, after I was like halfway through, and that was kind of sad. But you know, Call of Duty, in, in my opinion, is just dying. I just I don't even think I'm gonna get the third one. Um, I love CS for playing when I do play games, and and um, you know I might get it, but I most likely won't. I'm just juiced, freaking juiced for Star Wars Battlefront because I'm a massive Star Wars nerd. I like grew up on that, like literally. Uh, grew up on Star Wars. I watched all the movies and, and everything, and my dad was huge on Star Wars since he was a kid, so it kind of continuing the legacy and whatnot. So I'm really juiced for Star Wars Battlefront, because Battlefront 2 was amazing. Um, I played it now, I bought it, and I've been playing it. It's kind of like lame now compared to how great games are, but the point was at the time it was one of the best, and so I'm really excited for, to see what DICE can do with this game coming forward. I think it'll be pretty amazing. Uh, so I'll be definitely playing the crap out of that and we'll see where that takes me but um anyways yeah the comtage so I, I know that it was like disbanded and whatnot but I, I definitely want to finish it because i was really liking how it was coming and how everything was looking and stuff and just you know even if it just goes up on my channel i mean he'll probably still put it up on his second channel but um you know i, I think it'd be fun to, to finish up so i'm gonna try to be finishing that up here soon but um yeah so again sorry for not having you uh more videos recently on my channel um it's just been kind of hard to to stay focused with all those different things but i definitely love making videos and i know i saw some comments on the latest video that was saying um you know they you guys really missed the uh, the deep chats or chill chats and um I, I actually already have one of those recorded i'm finishing editing that up so you'll be able to see that within the next couple of days here i have another cs funnies coming out soon um, and I should have, I have quite a bit of footage from like, oh, like, you know, a while ago actually that I'll still probably turn into some funny moments. Um, and then hopefully I'll be able to start streaming again here soon. But I just kind of wanted to give you guys this little bit of an update video and, uh, and, and let you guys know what was going on. Actually be able to just sit and talk rather than you just, you know, seeing me third person, I guess the way I would say it in the CS funnies and everything. Um, but yeah, so I'm not dead. I haven't dropped off the face of the earth quite yet, and I hopefully won't do that anytime soon. But I hope you guys are doing awesome, having an, a, a great summer, and uh, let me know what you guys are doing if you're doing anything fun, if you have any ideas for some crazy stuff to do during the summer when I get some free time. I'm all ears, so let me know. 
But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this bit of gameplay from CS. I don't think I've ever done a CS commentary, so here's a first. But yeah, so I think that pretty much covers it. Be sure, I, I am still relatively active on Twitter. Um, be sure to follow me there, at Italvi. And then on Twitch, when I do stream, I don't have a strict schedule yet, but twitch.tv slash slash Italvi. Um, but I'll definitely be pumping out some more content to you guys soon. And uh, yeah, so with that, stay beautiful, have a fantastic freaking day, and we'll see you later. Thank you